Born in 1932, the influential Russian filmmaker Andrei Turkovsky, the director of such classics as Stalker, Solaris and Mirror, had to fight the Soviet government his entire career. His masterful films was considered too provocative and anti-Russian, therefore he wasn't allowed to make the films he wanted, at the pace he wanted. He was forced into exile in the early 80s. Turkovsky left Soviet with his wife, but wasn't able to bring his teenage son. This was understandably very hard on the married couple, and the rest of his life he tried hard at diplomacy to have his son released. But the Soviet Union wouldn't budge. Turkovsky made two films in Italy, and shot his last film, The Sacrifice, in Sweden in 1985. By the end of the year, Turkovsky was diagnosed with terminal cancer. In February 1986, 30 years ago, the Swedish Prime Minister Olaf Palme was assassinated in Stockholm, Sweden. He was on his way home from a cinema visit with his wife. Andrei Turkovsky was finally recognized in the Soviet Union in the autumn of 1986, shortly before his death. When Turkovsky died in Paris in December 1986, he did so in the company of his wife, and long miss son. Men du satt i bilen, du såg det här på avstånd. Du han aldrig få någon bild av, av mördaren förutom möjligtvis då kroppslängd och kroppstyp liksom. Jo, jag såg han han sprang in i gränsen och eh, samtidigt så alltså, har man ju sett bilder på Christer Pettersson när han stod in i Solan 2005. Jag vet inte om du ska få det själv. På ja, just det. Mm. Och eh, det här är en kopia den som sprang iväg i, i den gränsen alltså. Så att, eh, This is a facial composite of Olav Pilmi's murderer. This is Christer Peterson, who was the main suspect for many years. He was pointed out by Palm's wife as the murderer, but Peterson was eventually cleared from all charges. This is Andrei Turkovsky, 